<laughs> good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone here in conference room and participating remotely. It's our great pleasure to meet you all here uh, in our fi final conference of Life for God project. We have been working for five years, can you imagine, together. And now we, we are ready to present you what we understood, what we concluded. We are ready to share with you everything. Just be kind and take it, <laughs> um, take it um, from us. Um, uh, we have great people here in this region. We have great but sometimes tough nature and we have um, also great ideas. And that is how and uh, why and uh, yeah, how, how Life for God project was born in back into 2019 uh, when this uh, story started. And uh, back then and also now we understand the uh, importance of uh, uh, importance of uh, global perspectives as well as the importance of regional data. And uh, you may see in this slide uh, that we have zoomed out our project territory. Uh, these are Baltic states, as it was mentioned by moderator, um, Finland and Germany. And uh, when you look at uh, IPCC global uh, map of uh, climate territories, you can notice that our region is in cool, temperate, moist climate zone. Uh, but uh, when we zoom in, we can see uh, different characteristics of uh, temperate, of boreal, of hemiboreal uh, features. And that is why, why and uh, um, yeah, that is why we are digging deeper. That is why we understand how important um, local and regional data are. And uh, we did a lot uh, of data mining in this process and data analysis just to explain why we are a bit different from this broad region of cool, temperate, moist, moist uh, climate, um, but, uh, but still in this climate zone. Um, if I had to formulate in one sentence what Life for Bald project is about, uh, it is about finding better solutions, how to manage nutrient-rich organic soil, um, drained nutrient-rich organic soil uh, in forestry and agriculture to find better solutions to contribute positively towards uh, climate change mitigation. Um, it's not always so that organic soil contributes positively. It happens, it contributes negatively. And um, it's, um, yeah, it's one of characteristics of organic soil. And you can see in this uh, slide down below, um, very unfortunate proportion of uh, distribution of uh, nutrient-rich organic soil in Europe and uh, greenhouse gas emissions created by this uh, area. And this disadvantageous proportion is 3% per area operates about 25% of uh, greenhouse gas emissions uh, associated with sector of agriculture. And this, uh, indeed, this proportion speaks by itself. And um, that's why we are here and that's why we have worked for so long time together. Um, also, when we uh, look for definitions, we can find multiple definitions for organic soils, for, for soil, for peatlands. And uh, IPCC guidelines uh, give us very broad definition and each country is uh, invited to uh, use uh, their national definitions and uh, there are also very many names for peatland. You, you know box, swamps, mires, uh, etc. But what we do in Life or Bald project, we are working with territories uh, whose pictures you can see in upper corner. Uh, of this uh, slide uh, currently, and uh, these are territories you can uh, maybe describe at the first glance as just croplands and grasslands and wet forest. Uh, if I may made very broad uh, generalization, usually these are areas uh, previously uh, ground fed blocks which were drained centuries ago um, and now currently are used for uh, these um, purposes of forestry and agriculture. You can even not notice that this territory is different uh, until you 
take a sample and take a deeper look. And uh, exactly with these uh, nutrient-rich drained organic soils, we are dealing with this project, which is not exactly the same as uh, nice pictures by Mara Pakalne from, from Latvia. Uh, wetland pictures you can see down below in this slide. Uh, we are concentrating our attention on uh, managed drained nutrient-rich organic soil in forestry and um, agriculture. And uh, about scope, I already mentioned scope is uh, forest and agricultural land. And uh, you can see our main targets currently on slide and described. And of course, experts will give you much more uh, details and results uh, how we achieve those targets uh, within the project. But uh, just to mention uh, them briefly, first, it's about greenhouse gas inventory improvements. We have worked hard uh, on um, regionally specific activity data on regionally specific greenhouse gas emission factors. That's our, pain, uh, our first main target point. Uh, second, it's about demonstration of uh, climate change mitigation measures. Pre-selected climate change mitigation measures back then in 2019, 18, and um, in this project we demonstrated them in 17 different demonstration sites and analyzed them and looked from, from different perspectives. And also, uh, we are currently in still in bit of preparation of uh, proposals for policy makers, but uh, uh, all our measures are analyzed and um, information is uh, available now. Uh, and third one, it's about tools and guidelines. Uh, we promised one tool, but developed two even. Uh, one tool is for policy makers level to be operated at the national level mostly for uh, to, to guide policy makers and allow them some playing with data as well as uh, another tool uh, to be used mostly for farmer by farmers and foresters. And uh, both of these tools, they are just instruments. Uh, you can change input data, you can play with your data, and you can see outcome while implementing different scenarios. That is our contribution uh, towards uh, interactive um, coming in of, uh, of different players in this sector and uh, allowing uh, playing with data in, in the, the most positive way just to analyze what would be uh, the best solutions. And uh, to conclude, in fact, my very brief introductory slides, uh, the last one, and it is about sustainability. Uh, this is a very good and old uh, concept from Brundtland's report uh, back from 1984, and it's still valid, it's still very important, and all of this project is wrapped around this concept. And uh, here we want to emphasize that uh, there is environmental circle, of course, there is social circle, of course, and there is economic circle. And only in the middle uh, you can find sustainable long-term solutions, and that is what we did in this project, and uh, that is our uh, understanding of uh, long-term sustainable solutions to look uh, where those circles overlap. Uh, otherwise, you are a bit of, you could lose your focus in, uh, in um, different directions. Uh, by this, I would uh, like to conclude my very brief introductory remarks and uh, just uh, information about project and forward the microphone back to Oscars and our dear keynote speakers. Yes. To, to really uh, open this But before you go, uh, I was just wondering, it's been a long five years, I believe. What yes. was the most challenging in this project for you? Like professionally? Uh, we experienced COVID situation. As oh, you did? We, I did as well. Yes, did you? as, as I mean, a whole nation. Okay. And yes. it, it prolonged our project, in Why? fact, instead of four to five years, because it was really hard to do logistics and to, mm. to buy equipment and those things. But it you was remember? fine to be out there in the nature, I believe, you know, do uh, Yes, research. yes, but we, we, we couldn't go in one car, you know. Ah, yes. Two right. people. <laughs> right. well, it seems like a long time ago doesn't it? I mean, it's like something in the past, but it's just a few years. Um, okay, yeah, apart yeah. from that... Um, uh, yeah, um, it took a bit to agree on something, including methodology. We worked hard and... Was we, it Lithuanians? No, it was all of us. Okay. <laughs> it, was, it was all of us who, who wanted to contribute. We have a lot of 
very bright scientists and uh, with bright Lithuanian, ideas. Lithuanian bright scientists. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Okay. And to, to, to join our forces into one, the best methodology was, I would say, one of big challenges, yeah. But you over came yes, the obstacles, and, obstacles and do you have a feeling that uh, you had a uh, five years sounds a long time but then again when it passes it kind of might feel that it was too short do you have this feeling yes and we have forward-looking ideas as yeah, well i yeah, believe so, so. yeah right. yeah yeah it, it feels like uh, we understood a lot but we understood also about gaps left and uh, yeah yeah, the more you know, the, the more, more you understand, you, yes. you don't know. Exactly, anything. it's the same old principle as sustainability as, yeah. as this one works well. Great, thank you so much for opening. Yes. All right.